What up everyone, it's your man Xman87 here bringing you another Marvel Legends video and what I have for you today is the Marvel Legends Inhumans 2-pack deluxe set of Crystal and Lockjaw review. Before we get into everything, if you could please leave a thumbs up like rating on the video, it'll help show your support for my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Now with that said, let's go! First let's take a look at Crystal and I really like her face. She has a slight smile, I think she looks lovely. It seems to me that she has this sort of mix of a Jack Kirby look with a more modern Crystal look. You know, they just kind of mash that up together. I don't know, I get that kind of vibe here. And then her hair looks very, very lovely. I love the orange hair with the black hair design painted nicely. I did not want them to screw up the paint there, so it looks really nice. You got her bangs right there in the front. So overall, this is a really great crystal head sculpt for the female body here we get a mix of new parts and pre-existing parts like the limbs are from shriek and the lower torso is definitely new as you can see the belt is sculpted on so that is nice and the upper torso i'm gonna say it's new i thought it was shriek but then comparing the two you could tell shriek is a lot bustier in the chest the chest here is toned down a bit and then when comparing it to other female figures to see if it matches any of the other pre-existing molds I like compared to Moonstone and Hollow's Eve and all sorts of other female figures. None of them matched, so there was no match. I'm gonna say that this is a brand new upper torso sculpt. A lot of muscle tones on the back. So yeah, if this upper torso isn't new, I'm sure you guys will correct me in the comments. But the paint came out really, really nice. Like on the collar right there on the gloves these are painted not sculpted on the boots and even right there like on the bikini line the paint on mine is really clean and i'm happy to see that i really like the way she came out now i would love to see a fantastic four version of her in the fantastic four costume i would be down for that now for accessories she does come with an alternate head with a different hairstyle and a different expression as you can see comparing it to the Default head is a lot meaner, so she looks a lot more power focused using her elemental powers. I like it a lot. And then look at the hairstyle here. Very nice. Black hair design pattern painted nicely. So a very nice head sculpt. I like this a lot. Then lastly, she comes with open hands and she comes with a fire effect and a water effect. And if you guys remember in my top 10 heroes wish list, I did mention that I hope they give her elemental power effects, new power effects, and I'm glad to see that here. As you can see, they plug in through the wrist, so there's the little loop. You're just going to loop it through the wrist, and it's nice and sturdy. I like how the hand is form-fitted to kind of hold that water effect into place. I like this a lot. I would have loved to have seen like some ice effects too. But nice translucent plastic. I cannot complain. I got what I wanted here and she looks great. Definitely how I would want my crystal displayed showing off her power set. Not going to fully cover articulation because you know how these limbs work. Just going to go over the key parts of the newly sculpted parts. So with this new upper torso, her head is going to look about that far up. It's on a disc hinge. You're going to get a lot more range looking up with this head than on the default head because the hair is straight down. She's going to look that far down, which is good. Left, right, uh, some slight pivoting, not much. The torso right here, you're only going to get the upper torso swivel, unfortunately. So it's just the same as the older style female figures. You know, moves forward and back that much. It swivels, it pivots nicely, and it rocks around. Man, oh man, they should have done the new articulation scheme. Give her butterfly joints and the inverted app crunch. I mean, come on, this is a $70 set. Why wasn't it included? You know, is $70 not worth it to them to give us the updated articulation for this female figure? Come on, Hasbro, gotta give us the most value for that price point. And that's pretty much it for articulation. Oh, here are the hips if you wanna see her wide stance with this new torso, so it's still a good range. All right, now let's take a look at Lockjaw, and he's a big old chunky handsome boy. Look at this guy. Now, I do like this figure, but I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that I'm not disappointed because I am. Uh, again, <laughs> not every figure is going to be Christmas. I get that. I understand that. But when we go from something like this Zabu right here, who's fully articulated, 
to another animal that's just stiff with less than half of their articulation this features it's gonna leave me and you bummed out so when comparing it to another animal figure that was released earlier this year i can't help but to feel disappointed because i asked myself how do we go from this to this now that's not to say this figure is cheap again i'm just comparing articulation and if you think this guy is some hollow piece of plastic you are going to be sorely mistaken because he is not this thing is heavy like it's got weight to it you can tell just by the sound it's heavy and i did measure this guy on a scale he weighs uh one and a half pounds so yeah he is a really big boy he's got a lot of weight there's a lot of plastic in here. They did not cheap out with the plastic at all. To measure this big boy up, he stands at about 5 inches tall. So comparing him next to a 6 inch figure, standing him next to Crystal, who's 6 inches. That's the comparison right there. And then sideways comparison, he measures at about, let's say from the mouth to the nub, I would say 8 inches right there. Could he have been bigger? Maybe. Sure, you can make the argument. Now, I don't have the Mezco Lockjaw, but my wife does, so she let me borrow that to compare for this review since Lockjaw is her favorite character. And as you can see, height-wise, they're pretty much at about the same height. The Mezco one has a little bit of leverage with the height, but, you know, when comparing it to the side here, they have almost the same height. They stand at about the same height, I would say. But again, the Mezco one does have a little bit of leverage, but it's not too far off. It's not that bad. The Mezco one is a lot wider, a lot more traditional classic lockjaw, whereas Marvel Legends went a little bit smaller, more modern. Articulation between these two are not far off. They're both statuesque-like figures. So the one thing I like about the Mezco one, it has the torso ball rocker right there, where Marvel Legends doesn't, man. And that's the thing, Marvel Legends could have won up the Mezco Lockjaw in articulation. But the articulation is the same. The only thing that Marvel Legends has over the Mezco one is it has ankle articulation. Uh, the legs pivot in more and it has a tail articulation right here. But that's about it. When it, comparing the details, you can see obviously there's going to be more paint details on the Mezco one, you can see the shading on the wrinkled folds. We don't have that here. Not, that's not to knock off Marvel Legends sculpting right here because they sculpted a lot of details. As you can see, it's still present. Yes, while Mezco does look better, you know, they didn't hide any kind of details here. The Marvel Legends team did put a lot of effort when sculpting the fur. If you have the Mezco one, there's no need to get the Marvel Legends one unless you absolutely need Crystal, then I understand. You know, team completions are important for Marvel Legends. Now taking a closer look at Lockjaw, I want you guys to see they did not skip out on the details. You can see he's highly detailed in the sculpting. Look at the fur. Uh, look at that mouth area, the mush, <laughs> and I love that underbite. There's some dry brushing around that mush area too. Uh, he's a cute looking boy. And then uh, you can see what they did with the eyes here. They took a page out of the HasLab Giant Man and gave them clear pupils. It's not painted on. I like that. So the eyes are a separate piece. That is so cool. And I just question why they didn't add a light up feature there. The uh, Mezco one did it. They could have easily done it here. And especially for the $70 price point, right? Let me bring out a light here and you can see, look how clear and reflective that eye is on both eyes if you could see the other side. That is really nice. I love that they did that. You can see the antenna right there and his ears are painted in a darker brown. Uh, a lot of details, you know, underneath. He has a light brown fur painted underneath. You know, I like that. Not so much at the top. Yeah, I felt like they could have add some sort of shading to bring out those wrinkled folds. You know, he's a bulldog, so they're going to have a lot of wrinkles. I love bulldogs. I always wanted a bulldog. I only had boxers, but I love boxers. They're my favorite dog breed. But one day, maybe I'll own a bulldog. But look at the paws. They came out really nice. Big, fat paws. You can even see, like, the dew claw. Uh, sculpted right there. Something they did here that they didn't do on the Mezco one was uh, give them a, a paw pad on the back right there, whatever that's called. More details there. 
But look at the toe beans. Look at those toe beans, man. Nice sculpt right there. Nice paint, you know, on all the paws. And, oh, no, they neutered my boy. <laughs> no, they neutered Lockjaw. He can't do his thing. <laughs> but you can see, big, meaty boy, man. Big, meaty boy. And, oh, thankfully, they didn't sculpt the poop shoot. That would have been awkward, right? <laughs> But beautiful sculpting through and through. Uh, no complaints with the sculpting. My disappointment comes in articulation. Now for accessories, it comes with a few swappable pieces. So the mouth area right here, you can pop off, which by the way, there is a gap here. It doesn't bother me because he is a bulldog. He's gonna have lots of wrinkles, so it kind of blends in. Doesn't really bother me. You're just gonna pop that off. Yeah, it looks so weird. And then we're gonna give him his interchangeable mouthpiece, which he has his tongue out and his teeth out. He just looks like a happy boy. He's a happy good boy. Look at that, man. Like the details on the tongue. He looks so freaking cute. He's just adorable, man. I love dogs. I can't help it. Look at the sculpting right there on the jowls. They did a really good job. I want to show you the top teeth here, but it's going to be hard to show you on the camera if I flip this guy over. So it's just easier for me to pop this piece off. But you can see like the teeth on the top of the mouth right there. Like that's so freaking cool. So lots of details on this guy. Then he has a swappable antenna. So you're just going to pop that off. It's easy. Pop the other piece in. And as you can see, he's got that nice kind of Kirby crackle effect. I do like that. So you get the little crackle with some electricity on there to display when he's powering up, ready to teleport. I like this a lot. And that's another thing that brings me to why didn't they add a light up feature here for his eyes? Because if you look at the Mezco one, he does have the light up feature for his eyes. You can see that his eyes light up and even a part of the antenna lights up too, which is a great way to display his teleporting powers. You know what I mean? So another missed opportunity there. Then lastly, he comes with swappable sitting down legs and you're just gonna pop off the legs and pop the other sitting down pre-posed legs as if it's a build figure and then you're gonna have him sitting down in a position so you could just move these up bring the front legs down and there you go you got your lock jaw being a good boy sitting down. Let's move that tail down a bit. As I already stated, you're not gonna get the articulation like the Zabu figure, but when comparing it to the Mezco one, the good thing is that you can get an additional pose out of this guy than the Mezco one because you're just stuck with this pose on the Mezco one. He's always gonna be standing up because there's nothing else you could do with his legs. That's one positive at least, and if you want him laying down, you can move his front legs up and he could be in a like playful pose you could do something like that so again you could get more out of this guy than the mezco one especially if you're a photographer like myself you're gonna have a lot more options to play around with and pre-pose scopes just suck man they take away the fun because i want to create my own poses so for instance here i try to get him to scratch himself and i can't pull it off now if i take zabu for instance because he has that torso cut you know, he can be able to scratch himself because any four-legged animal, especially a dog, if they're trying to scratch themselves, they're going to twist their body. So it doesn't look natural at all. Now to cover articulation, Lockjaw's head moves all the way up that far. That's pretty good. Doesn't look down much, just looks straight pretty much. And then you got his head that can rock side to side. You can swivel it. So it's got a good ball joint rocker, I'd say, for the most part. His legs just move up and down you have the legs that can pivot inward and outward that's the same thing the mezco lock jaw can do but this one has a lot more range and then the paws right here you can move them up down and he does have some nice paw rockers <laughs> then the back legs same thing but they also pivot inward and outward that's something the mezco lockjaw can't do there's no pivoting there and again the paws articulate the same and his tail moves up and down and it swivels around as well honestly all this figure needed was joints at the legs and the torso cut 
and it would have been what I wanted in a lockjaw. They definitely made sculpt a priority over articulation, and as you can see, he's not cheap plastic. He weighs almost two pounds, but it would have been nice to see if they balanced it with articulation because lockjaw, for a big dog, he's very agile whenever he's not being lazy and taking his dog naps. <laughs> Kicking off comparisons, here's our lockjaw comparisons with the Legends one next to the Mezco, the three and three quarters Marvel Legends, the Collector's Vault San Diego Comic Con exclusive, Mini Mates, and Hero Clicks. Here is Crystal next to her ex-husband Quicksilver and then later her new husband as she married Ronan the Accuser. I wonder if they'll ever make a 90s Quicksilver with a black and white costume when they were in the Avengers together and they also had a daughter named Luna. Here is Crystal and Lockjaw next to fellow Inhuman Kamala Khan Miss Marvel who also shared adventures with Lockjaw. Here is Lockjaw and Zabu for some pet Avengers members. Fun fact, Lockjaw defeated Thanos with the gems on his collar. Lockjaw used the Infinity Collar to blast Thanos to bits and Lockjaw and the pet Avengers issue number four 2009 yeah i swear to god that happened here is crystal next to her ex-boyfriend johnny storm aka human torch and the rest of the fantastic four in case you ask i put the sharon carter head on invisible woman because it looks a million times better lastly here is crystal and lockjaw with some of their fellow inhumans royal family members her sister medusa brother-in-law black bolt and karnak and yeah they already need updates would love to see black bolt on that new punisher two-pack body along with some fabric wings medusa should have interchangeable wigs and other add-on hair attachments for multiple looks and now to wrap things up my final rating is a 6.75 out of 10 on one hand i really like the set and on the other hand i'm disappointed in it at the same time mainly because my expectations for lockjaw was set too high partially my fault for setting those high expectations but you can't blame me after what we got out of the incredible zabu bath this year Hasbro man, they take 5 steps forward and 10 steps back. Nothing bums me out more than when I have a character on my wish list and they end up being a disappointment when that wish figure comes true. I shouldn't be limited to like 3 poses for Lockjaw. He'll look good on the shelf and look good next to the Inhumans so he's just good for a display decoration piece and not the action figure he should have been. I'm not going to complain too much about it because at least I got what I wanted from when I did my top 10 superheroes wish list video a year ago and that is Lockjaw and Crystal in a 2 pack together as that's how it should be. They have to go together because they just go together. Like I said with Crystal, I really like her, she looks exactly how I imagined her to look and it's great to see her come with some new elemental effects for the line. The only thing I would have added to her is the new female articulation system at the torso. Without that, and without lights for Lockjaw, and not having the articulation he should have, don't go out of your way paying full price for this $70 set. Wait for a price drop. The Inhumans Royal Family has been one of the slowest progressions to complete for a major team. This team should have been completed already years ago, especially in the mid-2010s when Marvel was pushing them over X-Men. They can easily knock out Triton, Gorgon, and Maximus next year, but I won't have my hopes up. For now, we are a few steps closer, but still feels like we have a long way to go. Now I kick it back to you. What do you think of this Inhumans Deluxe 2-pack of Crystal and Lockjaw? I said what I felt would have made the price more justifiable, but let me know what you think would have made it worth it too. And what Inhumans do you want to see next in the line? Comment below, let me know, we'll chat about it. Thanks for watching another Marvel Legends review. Please follow me on Instagram if you haven't already at xman87. Hit the notification bell so you always know when my latest videos are up. Share and subscribe if you're new. See you on the next review. Peace, peace.